Howdy folks, welcome to episode 6. Today we're going to go ahead and buy some empty G-Type batteries here. I was looking at the map and I'll show you here in a second. But yeah, I did uh, go in and get the ship repaired and refueled and everything uh, between episodes here. And so yeah, I checked out the... Um, checked out the... Uh, okay, so these do have one fragile thingy on them. Let's go see what uh, we can do 60 meters per second. Okay, so without damaging them, them, that is. So if you look, we have that, and they want to buy them here. I don't think anybody else wants them. Oh, these guys want them for 25000 Huh, interesting. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to here, and we're going to sell them, and then we're going to go to the trawler, and we'll buy the canned coxcomb, and we can, uh, we can then... Uh, sell that you know down down at one of these places or whatever so we can start doing some uh you know making money and everything so we're gonna go up to the uh yeah, what's the call it here that's the one up in the sky so we are gonna have to to head up and you know what i'm gonna have to fix I, i'm gonna be whining about it through this episode but yeah i definitely have to fix the clouds because this is gonna drive me nuts not being able to see anything at all i mean it's it's, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go. How many? It's 50 kilometers. Okay, so we can, we can uh, do this, and we can. Yep, yeah, there we go. We head over to. Yeah, whoa! It's only 1500. Okay. So we're gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Uh, We're gonna have to to change plans or something because uh, either that or we're gonna have to wait for this to um, come in. <laughs> we're gonna have to wait for the uh, ceiling to to drop or to to raise or whatever because the ceiling is really low right now. So I think we're just gonna we're just gonna take our time getting there and hope it uh, decides to. Uh, the circuit, circuit overload. Okay. Yeah, we'll just hope that it raises up before that. Because if it doesn't, um, we're going to have to land somewhere, like on these mushrooms. We'll have to see if there's mushrooms down in the ground below it or something. But yeah, we're going to have to land and make sure that uh, that we've got somewhere to... Come on. I'm going to keep getting the protective circuit overload if I don't stay below the 1500. There we go. All right. So yeah, we, we just have to watch for the uh, the ski level to go up. Let's we'll see what we can do from there. Yeah, we're flying over a bunch of mushrooms. So it used to be that you know you had a real problem. Um, I mean, we could always just divert to the trawler. No, we can't because we don't have the room for the cargo. We do have to get rid of this cargo first. So go like this. I don't know if it's going to let us turn now. Yeah, it is letting us turn. Okay. By rolling instead of just yaw turning. Turning with the rudders. All right. <laughs> and so, yeah, we're 24K away. So, yeah, we're going to have to do that. And then, like I said, we'll, we'll have to go to the trawler. And it looks like we're going to have to kind of backtrack to get to the trawler, doesn't it? It's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Now we are eight kilometers from the research platform. I mean, we could stop at that. Where is it? It's over here somewhere. Um, we could do that and refuel. Because it seems like... There it is. Okay, I can see it right there. Let's see if we can... There we go. Turn toward the research platform here. Ah, huh, interesting. It's showing our destination point now. And we're going to switch back in a second here. Yeah, we'll just coast a little bit more. There we go. What's our wind looking like? It's pretty calm. Okay. It's not too bad. So what we're going to do is this. And we can come in this way. And yeah, hopefully that should uh, that should reset. I think when you land, it I don't know. It seems like when you land, it it does do a a re um, re which we call it. 
like it'll change the weather for you or whatever. It, it's almost like that's one of the triggers for that. Okay, we'll see if we can And here. Oops. <laughs> Actually accelerating upward here. I need to watch where I'm going. There we go. A little bit better. Come down here. There we go. All right, see, now it's now it's above three kilometers. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop, and we're going to get fuel first, and then we'll go up to the the cargo thingy. So is this going to let us security service base? Um, I don't think we're going to be getting there anytime soon. So we're just gonna we're just gonna refuel, and let's take off. Let's get over there. Now it's at three kilometers, so um, it used to be, and I'm not sure if it still is going to be, but it used to be that that meant that it was at the uh, that it was at the uh, two and a half, the 2,500 altitude. So we'll see. Let's get some climb going here, and then we can. There we go. Now we can switch over to this. We don't need that much throttle. Yeah, we really don't need that much throttle. There we go. We can see the cargo spaceway now. Two thousand, twenty-one hundred, twenty-two, twenty-three. Just need to watch one. Yeah, it is at twenty-five. Okay. So we need to. Be careful about where we're going here. I'm gonna back off on the throttle a little bit here, <laughs> so that I don't do what I did before. Right? You guys remember? Let's go like this. There we go. Yeah, I have slammed into this for those of you who didn't watch the previous seasons. I have slammed into this thing before on. Um, prior occasions so I think I've done it twice where I came up to this thing too, just going way too fast and couldn't get out of the way in time okay so we're gonna go like this just gotta be careful because the, you don't you don't have too much room between the ceiling and, and the thing I'm wondering what that effect is is that the is that because I'm close to the ceiling the doubling the double vision there or what Okay, here we go. And we're going to do this. There we go. Alright. So, we've got our G-Type batteries. And we should be able to sell those. <clears throat> there we go. And we have the multi... We could buy the multifunctional surface drone, but they're really fragile right now. I get the feeling that as soon as we try to buy something like that, we're going to end up with a <laughs> with a problem, with a storm or something that's going to bounce us all over the place. Okay, so we can go to this one. Yeah, we can go to that one. See, that's the one we passed up. Okay. That's interesting. It has... Oh, that's just the regular G-Type batteries. Okay, so we're going to go like this. We're going to, we're going to go here, and we're going to buy the canned coxcomb. And then I think we're going to go here and sell it. Yeah, so we're going to do that. So that's going to be our plan. And so let's just take off here. Now, you know what? We can go repair the ship, too. Why don't we do that? Because we did take some damage to the radar. So why don't we go do that first? Just because I don't want to... I don't want to... Um, yeah, I don't want to be flying around with all that damage. I'm, I'm curious to see what happens if... <clears throat> if the uh, thing changes, if the ski level changes while you're up here. If it changes to where it's like 1400 is your ship then <laughs> are you just unable to take off and it crashes on you or you sit there taking damage the whole time or what not sure how that would work but yeah we'll just here there we go it's interesting i think there must have been an update or something because it's now turning a different shade of green or i just didn't notice it before <clears throat> or maybe it's just this maybe it's just this uh particular thing but yeah, we'll come in here and we'll repair it. Really wish you could repair at the the other spot too. 
but let's go like this, repair, and we're gonna do that. There we go. Okay. It just takes a minute to do that. And I'm gonna have to go back into the options. I'm gonna have to wait for this to finish. So, <laughs> I have to wait for this to finish so I can go into the options because you can't get into the options while you're in this screen. So let's see what else they have. They have Evo 2 engines. Okay, those are for a different ship. We have inertia stabilizers. We have titanium wing. We have basic modification. Okay, that's the one we have. So we have a titanium wing we could buy. Lightweight chassis. We have Evo 2 engines. I think that's what we want to do is once we uh, once we have the money to do it, we want to get the Evo 2 engines because that's the biggest help. So let's exit here. There we go. I just wanted to see what, what they had for sale here. I mean, you can see it on the map too. But I just wanted to look while we're in there. And let's see if we can fix our view here. Come on. There we go. Okay. So let's see if we can settings graphics depth of field. There we go. Okay. Much better. Alright. So we're going to go to, yeah, there's our destination point right ahead of us. This. Just got to be careful about slamming into this thing. <laughs> It's another way to to uh, have problems. There we go. All right, we're 24 kilometers away. I think we can. I think we can uh, blast our way there. Can do that. There we go. There's our wind. We got a headwind. Okay. I'm curious as to how fast we can go. That is our. Yep, that is our trawler. No. Nope, it's, it actually has us going the wrong way. That's our final destination, not our current destination. So how fast can we turn in this thing? Nope, it's making me climb instead of... Okay, when I'm sideways and I pull back on the stick, it should not make me climb. Let's do this. We're going to turn like this. There we go. There's the trawler. Come on. There we go. Okay, so our our uh, goal is we're going to go to the tra trawler, we're going to get that canned coxcomb, and we're going to bring it to the other thing. So that should make us a decent amount of money. We're already up to 34000 Um We should be able to make like 15000 20000 per trip now that we're doing this stuff. So it should be a lot better. And we are going to get there in a hurry, aren't we? Okay. That's cool. I'm fine with that. I'm kind of liking that, that you can go a lot faster now. Um, it's going to be more dangerous. I know when you when you uh, pop back into ship mode, um, into VTOL mode from from airplane mode, you, you can take damage from just too much G-forces or whatever, too much drag on the engines when you you do it or whatever whatever the reason is the explanation is you, you definitely uh, do not want to you don't want to switch into airplane mode when you're going way too fast there we go Let's see if we can visually see it yet should be able to see it somewhere here where's the trawler we must be directly overhead there it is. Okay. There we go. Let's turn it around here. And I think we're going to land into the wind. So let's go like this. Turn so we're facing the wind here, mostly. There we go. Come over this way a little bit. Oops, I don't want to do crosswind. I can help it. 
There we go. A little bit better. And then once we float on our little bubble, our little ground effect bubble, then we can then we can uh, spin around here. Floating in there. There we go. There we go. All right. And much better. It seems like the it seems like the frame rates improved too. I need to go into the. Whoops. I need to go into the uh, console. Why don't I do that? What before I forget? There we go. I think you have to hit it like five times in order to open it. Uh, FPS. You have to just hit tilt over and over. There we go. In order to open it. Okay. So let's go here. We're gonna buy the cam coxcomb. There we go. And we're going to recharge the ship. Yeah, we're getting a pretty decent frame rate here. I think I think they improved something. I think they improved the rendering or whatever. Okay, so we are loaded down with five. Nope, 2,500. Okay, I was thinking it was five, kilo, oh, five uh, tons. Okay, so we should be good now on our map. Yeah, it's going to show our final destination here. Cool. All right, so we can... It's, I wish you could actually buy two of those. Not sure why it doesn't let you do that, but... No, it doesn't let you. Okay. It'd be nice if you could buy two of them. I have the cargo space and all that stuff. I probably could go to the other... To the other uh, thing and buy it, I think. But I'm not positive about that. So we're just going to head there. Why is my thing open? Let's close that. Why is it open? There we go. All right, so we're climbing, and we're just gonna go like this. There we go, and we're gonna climb up to altitude, and I think we can lay off the throttle too. I don't think we need full throttle for this. So we'll drop that about half throttle, and we'll climb up to, uh, what, two and a half? kilometers overcast oh great so yeah as soon as I start heading for the mountains that when it that's when it goes overcast on me all right you insist <laughs> so let's see if we can get over this at all because we do want to we do want to get higher up just to miss the mountains too I don't want to I don't want to be bouncing off mountains. So here we go. 2300. There we go. It would be interesting if your, uh, if the way you fly changed, you know, if your, uh, characteristics, your flight characteristics change after you hit Mach 1 or whatever, or right before. So I believe planes experience a whole lot of problems right before they hit Mach 1 when they're starting to catch up with their own shockwave. Is there, is that a volcano right in front of us or no? I can't tell. There's too much. Let me go this way a little bit. I'm going to go over this way. Around these clouds. <laughs> I don't want any surprises here. And it looks like we should be able to just coast our way there. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're way closer than I thought. Alright. Yeah, these trips are, are pretty quick with the um, with the faster ships now. It's nice. And we start losing some of that downward drop there. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come in this way. We're going to come over here. We'll be reduced soon. Nice. Okay, that's cool that they're doing, that they're giving you some advanced warning. I like that. Okay. Let's come over this way. better. There we 
go. People do need food. All right, two kilometers. Okay, so I believe that's the 1500. And I've got an alarm going off that I gotta grab here in a second too. <laughs> All right. There. And over to the side, just a little bit, just a little bit. There we go. Geologists have a job for you. Place geolocators. 20K. I can make 20K in one trip instead of five trips. So, yeah, no. I don't think so. Um, research platform E. Sure. Why don't we do that? Okay. So we're going to go to this. We're going to sell this. Sell it. There we go. We're going to refuel. And is my door open? Let's see if I can leave the door open if they'll walk over. I think this is one where you can't. Is this the one where I crashed into the... <laughs> it's the one where I crashed into the thing? We'll see where they're going. Because they're going to research platform E. Um, let's find out where they are. Where is the person? I'm going to zoom around here. Pick up the geoscanner. I don't see the person. Oh, there they are. Okay. So if we open our door, it should it should be that, right? There we go. That lets me open the door. And they're not going to walk toward me, are they? Nope. Okay. So I'm going to have to either move or fly toward them. Let's check out the map. Research platform E is where we're going. Let's see if there's anything that we can sell to them. Uh, they want... Stop joystick. They want bio sublimate, bio radar. Those are too heavy. Bio sublimate and bio radar. Um, it doesn't tell us how much those. Let me see. It doesn't tell me how much those uh, cost. Bio sublimate, bio radar. Nope. We can't buy those on the way there. Uh, bio sublimate, bio radar. No, I don't see anybody on the way there that's selling them. So we'll just do the taxi trip for the fun of it and we'll see if we can <laughs> see if we can do this without taking damage right I don't think it's gonna work very well because we have this thing over here let's see if it's gonna let us turn around this corner very well because she's still not walking toward us is she Well, at least it's not telling me I'm taking damage. But let's see if we can get past this one. I don't think it's going to let us... <laughs> I don't think it's going to let us taxi through this. Is she... Nope, she's, she doesn't care. She's not going to walk. Okay. 170 meters is way too far to walk. Okay. <laughs> Alright. We'll just come down here. There we go. And there. Jump in. And we're going to see how quickly we can get to that place. Research platform E. There we go. They're in. All right, let's go. We're going to see how fast we can get there. How quickly we can get there. We're modifying a verb. It's an adverb. All right, let's see if we can do it. And just need to get over these mountains or go around them to the south here. Just need to watch out for volcanoes and geysers. Go, there we go. We are at 166. Okay, we should be able to switch to airplane mode and go. Go. And it's going to tell me 1500, isn't it? Because it said two, uh, two kilometers. Let's turn that off and see if that. No, nope, that didn't really speed up our rendering. Okay, so we are getting a lower frame rate over the mountains over there. And I was thinking maybe it was the. Um, I was thinking maybe it was this, but. Nope, yeah, see, it is 1500. Okay, and I don't think we need the wind right now. Oh, man. I think we will need the wind just to, so that we can tell where we're going. 
<laughs> All right, and keep an eye on the radar. Watch out for uh, watch out for the uh, mountains and stuff. Because we are flying over I mountains, I think. The the There's something right there. Whoa! Going way too high up there. There we go. I need to slow down a little bit. I was going way too fast there. I think that was the problem. Okay. So we should be able to get there within a couple minutes, I think. Apparently we took damage to our steering wheels. Why are we taking damage to that? There's a little mount there's a little uh little island. I don't remember where exactly the there we go. It's 28k. Okay, we, we still have a little bit more distance to go before we get there. This. Stop climbing so much. We're going to use... Yeah, we're just going to use full throttle. See how fast we can get there. I want to see if you get like a bonus for getting there in less than the four minutes. There we go. 400. We're going 400. So it's interesting that the air is thicker toward the surface um, and you can go faster be or you can't go faster. You know what I mean? Your top speed is limited because of that, but then uh, Mach 1 is not altered because of that. It's kind of interesting. Um, let's see. We're going to drop off the throttle here. We do need to drop the speed. It's right down here. There it is. It's right there. Okay, I can see it now. I head toward it. Go. A little bit more. What is that thing in the sky? Is that a volcano? Is it a volcano that I was seeing? It was interesting. There was like an orange plume or something that was like showing through the fog. Okay. We need to keep up some speed here because otherwise we're actually going to start losing too much altitude. Go and we're gonna stop at the last second here. Go. There we go. Come on. Let's see how much we get if we get there in less than four minutes. Come on. Five, six. Come on, go, 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 go. See, I made it there before. <laughs> I made it before four minutes. Let's take that person. Let's see what we got. Nice, we got 14,000. Okay, that's way better, way better. I don't know if I got the bonus because uh, I got there so quickly because that was really fast. <laughs> He's going to Canyon Central. All right, well, let's, let's. Uh, I think that's over. No, that's not over here. Where is Canyon Central? But anyway, I, that's going to be it for uh, episode six. We are out of time for today. So, yeah, I think we're going to try another taxi run, uh, maybe. Oh, there's Canyon Central up there. I've been there. So, huh. And there's nothing else up there. I don't think I want to take him then. All right, that's going to be it for, for Episode 6. Join me in Episode 7, and we will see you then. Later. <laughs>